Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Straightforward with Miss B. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between, you know how we do. Grab your vices, chill out, let's get straight to it. And I have my homeboy here again with me today. What's up, AG? Hey, man, how's it going? Everything good with you? Yeah, everything good with me, man. It's been a long, long, long week. Long week. We had some technical difficulties last week. <laughs> Hopefully we got them straightened out, though. Yeah, we working on it. We working on it. We're going to keep our fingers crossed on this episode. Hopefully we don't have any sound or audio issues on it. If, um, you know, if you guys hear anything on the playback, you know, our apologies. Um, But, yeah, so, hey, we're in the month of February. It is officially Black History Month. So let's uh, give a quick applause for Black History Month. Yes, yes, yes. We're talking about everything black, greatness, success. Don't you just love Black History Month? Oh, yes. We get to highlight the blacks for a month, the inventors, the poets, you know, the great athletes. Right. Artists, oh, yes. inventors. Well, you might not ever hear about them, though, if it wasn't for black history. Right. You're right about that. You're right about that. I'm so happy thinking of I was just thinking back to that. Um I remember I'm so thankful that in high school we had like one or two teachers who were very like pro black. So we would learn, you know, about black history that's not in the you know, just the regular textbooks and everything. Um, mm -hmm. you know, they would teach us about that. At one point, I remember, like, in high school, <laughs> in high school, I remember coming home one day telling my mom, I don't eat pork no more. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I want no bacon. I don't eat no pork no more. I want no pork chops. I'm all pro-black. I even wore, like, this Kenta cloth, like, dress that I had um, custom made to my high school prom, my 12th grade prom. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you were a queen. You were the Egyptian queen. I honey. was, hey, I was Egyptian <laughs> queen, honey. <laughs> I know you who got them pictures. They had Granny House. Yeah, you know. The pictures over at, <laughs> the pictures over at Granny House, man. <laughs> Shout out to Granny, my favorite little lady. Yeah, so I thought I was doing it, man. I got to college. Shoot, college, you be struggling, man. Like, shit, I think I'm going to have to go back to that pork. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, and you won't eat. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So that was, you know, that was very short-lived. I, You know, even though I'm all, I'm still power to the people, that, that pro-black life, was very short lived, but I'm still here. I support I support my brothers and sisters in the movement. I support Black Lives Matter movement. You know, I'm I'm down with the cause still, but some things I just had to, you know. You ain't gonna be able to let that bacon go. Right, <laughs> right, right. I know I knew that I wanted to um first start off this podcast um, I wanted to start off, and by the way, you guys, this is episode number five, if I didn't say it earlier, but I wanted to start off, um, I've been having, you know, people definitely reaching out to me who want to be a part of the podcast. I'm very appreciative of everyone reaching out. Um, I'm appreciative of everyone that is tuning in, that has, you know, that are following the different streaming platforms, whichever favorite one is yours, and listening in to each episode. I am very appreciative, and AG, I'm sure, is appreciative of that as well. Um, but you guys going to have to wait. Like, you know, you guys going to have to wait until you get your turn. Believe me, I'm keeping everybody noted in my head who have asked me so far and have had – topics that they want to bring on to as well which you know I'm I'm all down for that but let me let me get my footing and bearing you know 
in this space and let me get to the point where it could be 10 more episodes from now or it could be five more episodes. Who knows? But I just want to get myself comfortable because since this is a very new journey for me, even though, you know, even though I've worked in this space before on the media side, uh, podcasting is slightly different. So I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm pushing out good product and stuff like that first before I bring anybody on. But um, <clears throat> thank you for everyone who's been reaching out. Um, how was your weekend, AG? Um, it was kind of long. It was kind of long also. A lot of work. Uh, we had a little fun, too. We had a concert. Me and my wife went to a concert. We party hard with old Jeezy. We turned it out. Okay. Oh, the little, uh, what is it, Legends of Hip Hop or something like that, or Trap Music? I think it was called the Street Legends. Yeah, Street Legends. Oh, okay. Okay. Who else was there? Of course, Jeezy, Gucci, Rick Ross. Um, what's the boy name? Two Chain. Um, and Trina. Oh, okay. All right. I don't know so if I'm leaving somebody out or not now. Yeah, you said Rick Ross, Gucci, Two Chains, Jeezy, Trina. That's that's yeah. about all who needed to be there. Oh yeah, because it was twelve o'clock before we walked out on your boy. I ain't gonna even say it, but we walked out on your boy. Who? <laughs> who you walk out on? Can I get a rose? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. Oh yeah, he went to get our scholarships, and I didn't want to see that. Oh my, you know what? I saw that on somebody posted a clip of that on YouTube. I just happened to scroll by it. I didn't click on it to actually watch the video, but I scrolled by it. and I was like, "Oh my god, he out there Thank giving you. out scholarships." I was doing full scholarships. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Yeah. Let his little pot was on. Um, he stays with him like he the uh, what you call the man that the hype man. Mm-hmm. He's supposed to be like MC Hammer or something. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, that's his homeboy that be yeah. That I think he lived with him from Miami. Yeah, he stayed in locked up for a real long time. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh gosh, child. everybody they yeah. they hype me. And he was the headliner. Mm. Mm. So they never need to have him again. Oh God, you 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 sound muffled a little bit. What about now? Okay, yeah, you're better. We have to make sure his audio is right, you guys, because he's not here in Atlanta. He's in Birmingham, so Alabama. Yeah, so I have him sync through the phone, um, into the soundboard. So I have to make sure his his sound is right because I don't, you know. I don't want nobody talking mess about my friend and his audio. Um, so yeah, my weekend, like I said, it's been a pretty long weekend. My heat went out. Had to get the guy out here to check the furnace. So everything is feeling a bit warmer in here now. But I'll I'll see by tomorrow. See if it's still working. If it's still working, then good. If it's not, then the guy said I can call him back to um <clears throat> so they can come back out. Come you back. Cut a check. I'm not. Sh- I'm not giving him no other check. Oh, you talking about if I have to change the whole furnace? No. Yeah, you got to buy one. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, no. From what you told me earlier, furnaces cost a lot of money. So, oh, yeah. it's I got other things that's more important that I need to spend my my money on <laughs> before I do that. <laughs> That's what she said today was a hey, couple of them cold, cold mornings. You'll come on with it. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Because he was saying that he was saying something about, yeah, it look like it's that time. It's like 10, 10 plus years. And the, the pipe part is rusting a little bit. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, you about to see if you can get all that st- stuff swapped out. Or oh, you know what you got to do. Finance it. It'll <laughs> <laughs> be there probably about a hundred and twenty five months. A five thousand dollar furnace, man. Mm mm. I don't know, but 
let's just uh, yeah i'm just gonna keep positive we'll thoughts pray for the best. yeah pray, pray for, for the, the best. best stay positive that i don't have to get a brand new furnace but anyway so um in honor of black history month we thought we would just kind of discuss real quick we're not going to get too deep into it um uh, but there's a lot been going on you know when we're talking about black history we talk about uh racism and um discrimination I'm sure all of you have heard about, you know, Whoopi Goldberg, um, who is a host on The View and her, you know, things that she's been going on, going on with the last couple of weeks. She had made some very insensitive and misinformed um, comments in regards to Jews and the Holocaust. There was a lot of backlash in regards to her statements. She did apologize, but then the I guess the the head of the network um, basically came out and then stated that she was placed on a two-week suspension. Some people felt as though that was that was warranted because of the, like I said, uh, misinformation that she had um, talked about. But then, of course, you know, you have others who are diehard, you know, Whoopi Goldberg friends, or they could be, you know, black African-American individuals who just stand beside Whoopi as well that felt as though the suspension was a little bit too much, um, especially after she admitted in her apology um, that, you know, she should have basically researched or maybe asked more questions prior to making her statement. But the whole thing is kind of like Whoopi, and then you have, what's the other the guy named? Brian Flores, um, who filed a lawsuit against the NFL for racial discrimination um, in their hiring practices for head coaches and executives. You have his situation um, going on. Then you have podcaster um, Joe Rogan, you know, who was caught basically, you know, on video camera just saying the, the N-word over and over and over again. I mean, they really they came up with a whole collage of video snippets of him saying the N word and then the apology that he gave, it was kind of like, <laughs> dude, like you, it's like you, he, it's almost he like he made it worse. It. Yeah. He made it worse in his apologies. Like you're not even giving, you're saying this whole monkey, um, little humor that you thought, you know, you were saying you, he was trying to say, Hey, you guys basically, you know, sometimes you have to understand or, or know the context of what I'm saying, but no, why don't you realize that anytime you say certain words that it's going to automatically give off that connotation of, you know, but he did realize he said it in his apology that I know <laughs> that you can't use that word, but he did it anyway. Well, he That's what to... made the apology unsincere to me because you saying the exact same thing. You saying, I know I shouldn't have said it in context or out of context. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. I did it anyway, so I'm just, I'm just going to be an asshole. I'm going to do it anyway until somebody say something. Right, right. <laughs> That's basically what it was. And with Whippy, hey, hey, nigga, you can't just say what you want to say. Mm-hmm. You're just the total opposite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Just, you can't, you, yeah, you can't say what you want to say. Uh, you can't say that. <laughs> you're not, you're not Joe. <laughs> yeah, you're not Joe. Joe can do it, but you can't do it. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then you brought up a good point right there is because because I was looking at, um I believe, the latest episode of Joe Button's podcast and they they brought up the, um you know, they brought up this Whoopi Goldberg thing and everything and Joe Rogan. They spoke on that as well. And um, Joe was just saying how the, the, the whole, I guess, concept of a shock jock. There's like blurred lines when it comes to that. It's like on one hand, okay, you're labeling me as a shock jock, which is what you would consider Joe Rogan to be because he's more on that um, Howard Stern, you know, type yeah. type of style where they just kind of say anything um, and expect to get away with it. And so we kind of, you know, society just kind of labels those type of individuals as shock jocks but on the flip side of that we're kind of we're living in a society now where it's like everything you say people are paying attention to it and they're trying to hold people accountable you know for things that people say 
So it's like, on one hand, I have the freedom of speech, but do I really right have the freedom of speech to say what I want? <laughs> it just, it comes, hey, ain't no way you can get around the, the sin, the, 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 can we say it, the racism. Right. And that's just, you got a woman, black woman, you got a white man. We're going to let this white man say what he wants too long as he can to somebody say something. And we're going to scold this black woman as soon as she come out of that mouth. Two-week vacation. <laughs> Definitely double standards. You, I mean, it's clear double standards when it comes to, you know, <clears throat> the white and black race and, and things that we are able to do and not able to do. Um and it's it's definitely a shame considering it's twenty thousand. I mean, it's not twenty thousand. It's the twenty twenty <laughs> year twenty twenty two, and we are still having to, you know, still having to kind of deal with these um, racial disparities, um, you know, between between everybody. It's it's a shame. I wonder how we can, you know, in this new day and age, like, do you think we'll ever get to the point? Or what are some things that you think can happen or should happen that may help, you know, help bring us together and instead of just continuing to divide us? Um, some more people need to got to die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> some of these people that's holding on to it that was around when it was, when the real stuff was going on, they still around and they still spreading it to their people. So it's right. gonna be a while. Hope I live to see it. Hope my yeah. kids live to see it, really. Right. Right. And the grandkids as well. But, I, you know, I just think that, I, you know, race, put that to the side. If you're just looking at a human being just for himself, even with, say, for instance, uh, for an example, women, women are so catty against each other or, you know, at times we could be a catty. Um, there may be a little bit, maybe jealousy you may see there. It's like, it's always something, you know, when it comes mm-hmm. to human versus human, there's always something there, you know, that makes us either dislike, you know, dislike the other person or like the other person, but there's always something there. But then once you, once you pal, Things such Being as black, right? Once you start on piling like race on top of it, then it just kind of just explodes into this whole other thing that it has exploded to the point it's been going on for so long. It's like you said, it's gonna take it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take a long time for us to even get to the point where we're recognizing one another as equals. Yeah, maybe the younger generation, they, um, I think it's better with the younger generation than the old, the, it's basically the older generation to me. Right. That's, you still gonna have some asshole young motherfuckers. Right. That's gonna, you know, they gonna try you, but like, he, but like Reagan, no, they shouldn't do it, but they gonna do it anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah, so. Right. It'll be a while. Right. Well, let's go ahead and mosey on. So we're still talking about Black History Month. Oh, I definitely wanted to do this. I wanted to make a correction um, on episode number four. Um, I think I stated that this new baby was going to be Nick Cannon's ninth child, but I stand corrected. This is, should be his eighth kid. Um, so I just wanted to make that correction for you guys because I don't want to you know, I want to stick to the facts on this podcast. Yeah. So I want to be yeah, out here just saying. Calls. Hey, hey, hey. How you heard about the number nine? What you heard? <laughs> what, what you heard? <laughs> right. You're like, man, I, you got an- I got another one on the way. <laughs> you heard number nine and ten on the way? Hey. Don't, give me, don't give me no baby shit, man. Let me help. Right. You ain't told me about that one yet. <laughs> Right. But speaking of babies, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of babies, so I guess you could say the fuckery, the fuckery this week so far has been this fight um, with the rapper, the baby out of Charlotte, North Carolina against 
one of his baby mama's um, brothers. So they have been kind of having this little online feud going on for a little bit now, um, ever since maybe like around Christmas time, I believe, where the baby had basically just made a fool of uh, the girl name is Danny Lee. She's actually a singer out of California and she had been kind of dating, you know, dating the baby and she got pregnant and then I believe she had the baby. And then this whole little episode one time was just put out on front street and it went viral where he was just making her look stupid. Like, she was, you know what you what you guys do. How y'all sometimes y'all make women look stupid, but the well, fact, yeah. So she felt real bad. But anyway, so her brother was coming to her defense. You know, saying the next time I see, if I see the baby. You know, I'm gonna put paws on him. I want to fight him. Blah blah blah. One on one, man to man. Blah blah blah. blah. So that time, heck, that's the time has come. <laughs> that's Kane. It's Kane, right? <laughs> And the time came. <laughs> they in a bowling alley. I'm not sure who may have been having an event, um, which made both of them be at the same bowling alley at the same time. But um, from the video footage, the video footage basically shows the baby throwing. I don't know if he hit a drink out of the guy's hand or he threw a yeah, or it might have been a left hook through through the front. He it, he 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 sparked it off. The baby sparked it off. So in the court of law, if the guy decides to take him to court for that and sue him, it oh, hey. Look, man, that dude said, "When I see you, it's on. Come to the West Coast, and when I see you, it's on." So, and you come over there where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? You came over there where I'm at. You already told me next time you see me, it's on. So what the baby was supposed to do? Wait until you hit him? No, but but no, 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 no. But let me st- let me finish setting it up for the people who may have not seen the video. <laughs> so they standing in the bowling lanes. I mean, they're literally on the lanes where you throw the ball down. So we, they're standing on the lanes. All you see is the baby swing, and the guy fell. On the ground because, you know, as everybody know who has been bowling before, those lanes are very slippery. So the guy ended up falling. And then you see people in the baby's crew come up to the guy. One of them is the guy has long braids like so he, they're holding him basically. They're holding him and letting the baby just, you know, continue to throw punches, and they just kind of sling him around, and the baby grabbed about a half, slinging the, the dude around, and it was just too much. Like well, my what? question, what well, my question is, mm-hmm. where was where was that guy? Arthur? Where his people? Who he with? Or was he by himself? I don't know uh, what his. I mean, he. I'm sure that this is a regular. He he ain't no star or nothing like that. He's a regular guy. He's just Danny's brother. At the bowling alley. At the myself. bowling alley. I'm sure he was there with friends, but he wasn't there with like paid security like the baby was. I'm like, I'm not even finna go over there where the baby at, thinking by myself. You know, that was just he he brought that on himself though. No, he didn't bring that on this. I mean, he did he was calling out the baby, like I said, months ago when the baby had disrespected his sister. You can't blame the guy for trying to take up for his sister. Okay, but I'm not blaming him for that. But when you come up to me at the bowling alley. He didn't come up to him at the bowling alley. Okay, the baby knew they was saw in they, e- lane. they saw each other, and he said, the, the brother said that he was going, not going up to the baby, but he wanted to speak with a man to man, you know, about shit that happened on in the past. But it didn't go that way, and the baby basically was, like, on site, and he swung, and the rest is history. But I don't think, to me, like, when when is j- jumping somebody, one person, when is that justified? Like, well, I don't think nobody need to be jumped. It could have been just a regular one-on-one, the, the entourage, security. They didn't even have to jump in. 
No, nah, they didn't have to, but hey, they wanted some fun too. It was a girl and she got a few kicks <laughs> in. It was, she no, she <laughs> fell. All of them was slipping. Was yeah, so <laughs> yeah, all of them was slipping and sliding on that on that uh, lane. I can't wait to TMZ do that Sunday. <laughs> all of them was slipping and sliding, but I, I just don't feel like. I mean, the baby, he didn't. The baby, okay, we know you can halfway fight, right? You don't need an entourage. You don't need nobody to help. And so all that, all this is going to do is if if the guy, I believe his name is Brandon. If he decides to take, you know, the baby to court and sue him for this, he he got more people he can include. He got more people he can include in the lawsuit. He might get him a little something. Yeah, he would have to. He would have to pay me. He would have to pay me. Yeah. I don't. Our fight went viral. Everybody see me getting slung around the bowling lane. You think you you're not gonna pay me? For my pain and suffering. <laughs> Child. <laughs> you are gonna you gonna have to pay me for that. That's embarrassing. Hey, you should have never went over there, man. That the baby he went he over didn't to go the baby. Over, no, he, he didn't. Did. Well, you need to watch it again. Cause he went over to where the baby never had bowling shoes on. They was rolling right there. That was um. they lane. Okay. That was the baby them lane. That man came over there talking about he wanna talk. <laughs> right. He ain't had no business coming over there. The baby said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, remember what you said on site." Right. And it went from there. <laughs> it should have been. The I, I said, <laughs> "Hey, we'll fight it. Come on." <laughs> right. We'll strike it up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I don't know. Whoever's listening to listening to this podcast, let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know how you feel about fighting like what are the rules of fighting is it just you know no holes bar you do it you just do what you got to do or should it just be a fair one one-on-one even if you are with security even if you are with an entourage you should just be fighting one person just one-on-one a, a clean one-on-one fight and you, what's up with the on site on site on site. If you tell me you, it's on site, it's on site. That's what I'm saying. You, say you know, that's what site. the that's what the young folks say now. It's on site. When somebody when says it's on site, meaning wherever you at, you could be sitting on the first pew in the church. <laughs> it's on site. And that's what it was. That that's was what it was. A clear definition. Exactly. You could be standing in the line at Piccadilly. It's Please on site. At the bowling and uh, in my line. It's on site. <laughs> <laughs> you could be standing in the middle of Target getting some toilet tissue paper. It's on site. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so... That concludes this episode um, number five of Straightforward with Miss B. Anything you want to say hey, to the people before we go? Hey, I'd just like to say I'm grateful for the opportunity and I can't wait to have some guests on. And that's it. See you later. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> Um, as we always do, don't forget, this is Straightforward with Miss B. It is S-T-R, the number 8, F-W-D, um, M-S-B on all social media platforms. And you can find us um, also on all streaming platforms as well. Um, and also, don't forget to follow, subscribe, comment like and do all that good stuff and so until next time 